This sort of surgery, I have three lives in my hands. Three lives, little tiny lives. And so yeah, I'm adrenaline charged right through it until the very end. Hello babies. In Sydney, Vicky from Jack Russell Rescue has brought three puppies to see Dr. Rob. Come on, let's get this done. We take in Jack Russell Rescue dogs from pounds and we rehabilitate them and try and find them new homes. But before Chip, Kingston and Monty can be adopted, they must be fit and healthy. Sadly, the three brothers all have the same serious medical condition. We were excited when the puppies were born, but we didn't know they had the hernias at first. They came along as they grew, so they will all need to have surgery. Hey, Vicky, Hi. how are you? Good how to you see going? you again. Good. These are the babies you talked about? Yeah, these are the ones. Yeah, I'll come in. Okay, thank you. Let's go and have a look. Jack Russell's are some of the cutest puppies you'll ever meet. They're just friendly, they love life. They're high energy puppies, but they are just lovable. Let's have a look at you. Okay. Oh, yeah. Look at those hernias. That's enormous. The unsightly bulge is caused by the puppy's intestines dangerously protruding through a hole in the abdominal wall. And the worry there, of course, is that the intestines can fall in there and twist, and that can kill him. Let's have a look at okay, that one. Next. We are nervous today about how the puppies are going to go through the surgery. It's still a concern to put any dog under anaesthetic, let alone one that's only 10 weeks old. We hope that the surgery goes well and we hope that they go through it, but there's a chance that they may not. I get worried about a hernia in the diaphragm. That's the muscle that separates what's in the chest to what's in the tummy. Yep. If we have a hernia there, that becomes goes from zero to 100 okay. as far as an emergency is concerned when we anaesthetise. Mm. The main thing with the hernia is that the stuff's coming from the tummy and it's going outside the body, literally, under the skin. If the intestines go down, the impact will be horrendous. It'll be catastrophic for them. So we've got to fix the hernias up straight away. It's going to be dangerous, of course, but don't worry. We're going to look after them. Okay, here it. we go, little guys. Number one. Look, this is a high risk operation because they're such little mites. We have to anaesthetise them, that in itself is a high risk. Uh, then we have to very carefully reduce the hernias after we open them up in a sterile fashion, get rid of all the stuff that's outside, put it back in, and then stitch carefully where the hernia is. There we go, that was gentle. So his hernia is quite deep, where you can push your finger right into the abdomen or the tummy if you like. This has really affected him. And the body's tried to repair it. It's a big defect for such a little dog. Rob has encountered scar tissue from a previous injury, making the task of repairing Monty's groin extremely challenging. A smaller puppy with a bigger hernia <laughs> makes it a lot harder. That's for sure. Despite the difficulties, Rob has been able to return the protruding intestine back inside the abdomen. We're on our way to closing, little man. How's he going? Good. OK, that's the last suture. Hey, little man. And now into the humidity crib where he'll stay warm, have a little bit of oxygen and wake up. Good boy. There's tissues everywhere trying to clear all that, get it all back into the abdomen and then close it over for him was not, not an easy task, but I'm really happy he's gone well. Come on. Here we are, look at you. Aren't you gorgeous? There you go. And cuddle him and keep him warm. We did it. A bit complicated, but he's all right. You did it. While Vicky nurses the recovering Monty. Okay, one down. Let's start again. Rob and Nurse Britt get to work on his larger brother, Kingston. That's going right down into the abdomen. 
despite on the outside appearing a much bigger hernia, this one's been a lot less complicated. His oxygen level's up 100%. How good's that? You're a good little man, aren't you? Looking good. Okay, done. We're two thirds of the way there. This sort of surgery, I have three lives in my hands. Three lives, little tiny lives. And so, yeah, I'm adrenaline charged right through it until the very end. There we go. So precious, you little guys. Kingston and Monty have come through their operations with flying colours. Okay, number three. My little man, where's your hernial area? There it is there. No dramas. Turns out the littlest was the hardest. You're just doing the skin sutures now and all the skin sutures will be buried. So there's no external sutures for these puppies to pull at. Because not only will they try and pull their own, they'll try and pull each other's out once they're really running around. Whew. Well, that's all of them, all done, thank goodness. A short time later, Chip rejoins brothers Kingston and Monty and their very relieved carer, Vicky. Organisations like Jack Russell Rescue couldn't survive or provide the care needed for puppies like Chip, Kingston and Monty without support and donations from generous hearted companies like Save a Life. Ready? Save a Life have been fabulous to us at Jack Russell Rescue in feeding our dogs healthy, great food. Yeah, good girl. <laughs> also, with their donations, we were able to build some outdoor structures over our play runs so that we have somewhere to show our dogs when people come to visit them. Hey, <gasps> at last, number three, they're Yay. all done. And they're all just sleepy but ready to go I'd say. Just keep a watch on them. I'll check them again in 10 days for okay. you and make sure everything's all right, mm -hmm. that they've healed well. Otherwise, I am really happy. Thank everything's you. good. Thank you. Pleasure. It was stressful waiting for the puppies, but I'm glad and I'm relieved that they're now recovering. All I want is that they go into forever homes now. They've really come into this world with a lot of difficulties and now these puppies deserve a good crack at life and a great home.